fundamental unit of life. If it weren't for natural human curiosity, we wouldn't have discovered anything. Is it not so? Well, in the year 1665, the ever so curious Robert Hooke, while examining a thin slice of cork through a self-designed microscope, saw that the cork resembled the structure of a honeycomb consisting of many little compartments. Now you do know cork is a substance which comes from the bark of a tree, right? So, Robert Hooke called these little compartments as cells. And if you ask why cells? Well, cell is a Latin word for a little room. That's why. This may seem to be a very small and insignificant incident to you. But it is very important in the history of science. Let us find out about cells. What are living organisms made up of? Let us find this out by doing an activity. Activity Now first of all what you need to do is find an onion bulb. Now take a small piece from this onion bulb. With the help of a pair of forceps, we can peel off the skin from the inner layer of the onion. This layer can be put immediately in a watch glass containing water. This will prevent the peel from getting folded or getting dry. Now, take a glass slide, put a drop of water on it, and transfer a small piece of the peel from the watch glass to the slide. Make sure that the peel is perfectly flat on the slide. Now, put a drop of safranin solution on this piece, followed by a cover slip. Take care to avoid air bubbles while putting the cover slip with the help of a mounting needle. Observe the slide under a compound microscope. What structures can you see here? These structures look similar to each other, don't they? These small structures that we see are the basic building units of the onion bulb. These structures are called cells. Not only onions, but all organisms that we observe around are made up of cells. However, there are also single cells that live on their own. If you want to see all the chapters in your syllabus in this format, then call us in the number description. Functioning of cell After performing the above activity, can you say that all cells look alike? in terms of shape and size? The shape and size of cells are related to the specific function they perform. Some cells like amoeba have changing shapes. In some cases, the cell shape could be more or less fixed and peculiar for a particular type of cell. For example, Nerve cells have a typical shape. Some organisms can also have cells of different kinds. Look at these pictures. These are some cells from the human body. Each living cell has the capacity to perform certain basic functions. Now this means that different parts of the human body perform different functions. Very organized, I must say, no? The human body has a heart to pump blood, a stomach to digest food, and so on. Similarly, division of labor is also seen within a single cell. In fact, each such cell has got certain specific components within it 
known as cell organelles. Each kind of cell organelle performs a special function. What is a cell made up of? We have seen previously that the cell has special components called organelles. If we study a cell under a microscope, we would come across three features in almost every cell. Plasma membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm. Let us study each of these components in detail, shall we? Plasma membrane or cell membrane. This is the outermost covering of the cell that separates the contents of the cell from its external environment. Hmm, something like the clothes we wear. The plasma membrane allows the entry and exit of some materials in and out of the cell. It also prevents movement of some other materials. The cell membrane, therefore, is called a selectively permeable membrane. We see that there is spontaneous movement of a substance from a region of high concentration to a region where its concentration is low. Well, something similar to this happens in cells when, for example, some substances like uh, carbon dioxide, which is cellular waste, accumulates in high concentrations inside the cell. In the cell's external environment, the concentration of carbon dioxide is low as compared to that inside the cell. In such case, carbon dioxide moves out of the cell from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration outside the cell by the process of diffusion. Similarly, oxygen enters the cell by the process of diffusion when the level or concentration of oxygen inside the cell decreases. Thus, diffusion plays an important role in gaseous exchange between the cells as well as the cell and its external environment. Did you get that? अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऑस्मोसिस वॉटर ऑल्सो ओबेज द लॉ ऑफ डिफ्यूजन द मूवमेंट ऑफ वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स थ्रू सच अ सिलेक्टिवली परमिएबल मेम्ब्रेन इज कॉल्ड ऑस्मोसिस दस ऑस्मोसिस इज द पैसेज ऑफ वॉटर from a region of high water concentration through a semi permeable membrane to a region of low water concentration what will happen if we put an animal cell or a plant cell into a solution of sugar or salt in water hmm something will obviously happen one of these three things could happen first if the medium surrounding the cell has a higher water concentration than the cell the cell will gain water by osmosis such a solution is known as a hypotonic solution water molecules will pass freely across the cell membrane thus the cell swells up second possibility is that if the medium has exactly the same water concentration as the cell there will be no net movement of water across the cell membrane such a solution is known as isotonic solution Now it's not that water is not crossing here at all. In fact, water crosses the cell membrane in both directions. But the amount going in 
is the same as the amount going out. So, there is no overall movement of water. The cell will stay the same size. There is a third possibility also. If the medium has a lower concentration of water than the cell, the cell will lose water by osmosis. Such a solution is known as a hypertonic solution. And this will lead to shrinking of the cell. Now let us try this out by the following activity. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें